Right, quick walk around. Um, that's where we're storing tools and engineering equipment at the minute. One little reality check is we've got lots of glom, lots of stuff that we've accumulated. So um, one of the engineers um, has been going through all, all this engineering stuff and figuring out what we can use and what we can't use. And it's all, all part of the journey. So all this stuff we need to sort out, pat test, um, and just get rid of the stuff that we've, we haven't got the room for so we can start using this a bit more effectively. So these computer towers, um, we've got some software, open source software that we're going to put on them so that can be used for um, the, the engineers that like the coding. Um, we've got a few of these so the components can be stripped out of those to make um, well, like stepper motors and things like that and pulleys so we can, we can use some of the parts for these. These don't work anymore so I'm going to strip those and make something else out of them. Um, we've got about four of these printers. Um, this is a workspace area. Over there we've got a couple of lathes um, and more glom that we need to sort out. Workshop in there, just lock that up. It's um, wood store, so long bits are in here. Um, the jobs um, that we're working on going in this one. So it's all people's stuff. Some of that's being sold off tomorrow at uh, Christmas fair, Christmas craft fair. And all this is free. We just pick that up from wherever we can. Some of it's donated. So a lot of the stuff we make is based on um, just junk wood, um, but we've got some quite creative people who are um, well adapted to, um, you know, using their creative brains to create something that's of um, sometimes saleable quality, and sometimes it's just steps to learning. So a guy coming today, for example, his ambition is to make furniture, and he's not going to be able to make furniture anytime soon. So what we're doing is we're going to get um, I'll show you. This job here is um, a meditation stool. Let's get this. All right, so um, it looks simple enough, but it's not. So you've got, you've got some angles there and joints. It's not only angled this way, it's angled at, at the side. So to make the... Um, um, and, you know, putting dowels in it. So to do that job... Um, you need a certain amount of skill and that's a good start point for some people so um, John's going to train up a couple of people on how to um, make those joints and then the next step is um, possibly making some furniture that you know something that they might be um, interested in making most of the time we, we work outdoors but we've got a problem in terms of um, uh, beginning of Covid um, we salvaged this from the roof, these roof lights, so that created a bit of space for it to work. Um, this was just a temporary, see it John? This is just a temporary space, so it's an old market stall, and it's kept us going for a while, but we need to replace it, so the next step is looking for um, some materials that we can from scratch build a new workspace that's um, uh, perhaps got a, an area where it's um, secure, so we can store tools and things in it, like lathes, for example. Um, <clears throat> open access so that we can easily get wheelchairs. Um, the material might be like um, this cladding, so there might be a building site somewhere that might be um, pulling apart a, a warehouse or something. We might be able to get some um, insulated steel cladding that we could um, fabricate um, a new workshop here. Um, or possibly we could go for another container or um, possibly I've, I've seen a trailer, a big square thing. Uh, sorry, not a trailer, a caravan. Um, so there's all sorts of stuff that we could, we could use or a porter cabin, but it's all money and it's time looking. So that's why it hasn't happened quickly. So that's kind of a call to action. If you know of you know, anywhere where we can get some materials to refabricate um, this area here so we've got about 16 by 12 foot um, space something around that sort of size okay I've just um, opened this container up again and this space is absolutely ideal I'd recommend to just about anybody to get hold of a container to use as a workshop so it's been it's been clad with insulation um, and plywood so um, it's got heavy plywood so we can mount 
you know, mount storage. Um, we've we've adapted this space so it's um, thirty foot long. We've adapted it all sorts of different ways as as this uh, project's developed, as the scheme's developed, uh, and it's still ongoing and it's it's brilliant. So we can get we can get about three or four people working in here safely. Um, you know, uh, in on, on different workstations. Um, dust is an issue. So now we've got this, which is a dust extractor. Um, some of the tools we just take them outside and that minimizes the noise and dust problem in here. Um, most of the time people are working outdoors and this is just used for storage. And it looks a tip at the minute because it is a tip. So what we're doing is we're just sorting stuff out um, and we're gonna get rid of some stuff and we, you know, we always go through this stage of, okay, let's, let's get this place sorted out. And that's what we're doing right now and just moving things around so we get uh, um, get more tools sort of stations where they can be easily accessed. So it's a new acquisition. So someone's kindly donated uh, this plane of thickness. So it's actually really handy to And with some funding, we're getting hold of um, a table saw. And these things are brilliant. So it's a band saw and a couple of scroll saws. Um, that one's pretty noisy, so it's nasty indoors. That one's not too bad. So indoors, we can use these two over winter time and fabricate things in in plywood so i haven't got anything here to show you you know but um people might start off with something that shape then move on to something a little bit more intricate um yeah so here you go that's that's something you could do on a scroll saw so len did this you paint paint these up and they look quite nice it's a saleable item but that going to get this screen on, um, on the wall and then we can talk to um, to people via Skype or whatever who are at home. Yeah, yeah. So, so um, Ray's just sorting out a, a system that's going to um, safely support it onto a wall. So we can put it, put it over there. One side and the zero side. There's a new trailer. What's happening, John? We're doing some sorting out for uh, for tomorrow. Uh, I'm trying to do it, yeah. I'm, um... that, oh, it works a lot better. Yeah. Brilliant. That's looking good. Oh, it's a bat box. I'm going to spend a couple of years sorting this out, really, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? right. And uh, it's an ongoing. We get stuff donated. It doesn't look like much, but it's it's a vast improvement, believe it or not. Yeah. And and every week it looks better, doesn't it? Yeah. No. You know just, I mean? uh, yeah. I'm glad you're here. That's, that's all that matters. As, as long as it looks a bit better every week. We'll get some shelves up maybe next week. Get, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get some shelves up and uh, yeah, a big old clean out. Get some more idiot boards up. <laughs> We've actually got too much. So what Raj is doing is is getting um getting everything sharpened, all these rich and sharpened and everything, and we're getting um all the excess we're going to put to one side and use on another site or. Um, either give or sell, you know, depending on the quality of it. What's for lunch? Noodles, chicken noodles. They're quick and easy. Right. What we'd like to do is, I, I wondered if you could all put your heads together and come up with a prop about men in sheds. Oh, so right. how we can, you know, so I can take it to any exhibitions or meetings that I go to. Rob checked timber prices and came up with an interesting design for an A-board, but with sides on it that clipped on 
so you could have extra leaflets and things. Lionel was interested in adding Arduino, so here he is discussing that with Rob. One that has drivers for Arduino. Which is kind of. Which is. Sorry? Well, for. Yeah, yeah, that's the trouble. See, for Windows 7 it can. Of course, Windows 7 is not supported anymore. So he brought in a a little system that he made for testing code as an example. Um, I say it was just a project that was. You know, in my workshop working and I thought what need, for what you're going to do today I thought it's ideal to bring in yeah. uh, something to show what can be done yeah. so Ken was interested in making a model a little bit like this with some characters um, now he makes um, little carved figures um, but he wanted to animate them a little bit like this the motor speed and gears I will draw it to scale so Ken asked Richard to make some cams and some push rods and Richard's rebuilt three Sunbeam motorcycles very detailed craftsman with an eye for detail um, and then Ray um, got involved and he's built several dioramas um, he's, he's highly skilled electrician electrical engineer f- can fix just about anything and his thing is um, model making so soon we should have a decent display that might be interpretive and engage with the public at events like this so this is the next day's Christmas event there's some of Ken's models we made a little bit of money at the event so that will make um, the, the guys feel good And it was a great community event, so um, we all made a few new contacts. And um, I only managed to capture this room. It was uh, the cafe, which was was buzzing as well. It's all lined. Waterproof. All right. But uh, so, cold, this bit right here, it stops water going in the middle. It's good. Yeah. 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 Two round things in there. Yeah, it's good. It's like a, it's a good job. Like I've seen yeah. them um, similar in the shops, like um, you know, in the garden centres yeah, and that. It's the same. Seventy-nine pound. For seventy-nine pound. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. This one's fully, fully lined, fully lined. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe we should sell it more than thirty quid then. No. Well, I'll just explain this, that's a back box, which is upside down. So there's little, there's little grips inside there that that's hold on to. So that goes... That goes that way up. Um, I think these are for blackbirds. Nice big hole that we get into. Um, those are bird boxes that open up. Um, all right, hang on a minute. Let's look at this one over here. It's not really the time of year, but um, we've got some quite nice, very easy to make um, bug bug boxes. Yeah, wrong, wrong time of year. These are quite nice, so that's that, that's a good job for people to do indoors. That's another back box. Um, It is quite easy, easy things to, to make.